Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. We are starting off the day by making some cold brew. So I have this little like contraption thing where you put the coarsely ground coffee in the top and then fill it up with water. So I'm still working on it. And I'm doing this because I've ran out or I'm, I, I've finished off one canister of that coffee smoothie mix. And if you've been following me, you know that I've been struggling with my weight since moving in. And I really think the culprit is that mix. So I'm trying to find a new way to get my coffee that doesn't involve that mix when I'm at home. And we're going to give this a try and see if that switch can help me just kind of naturally get back down and continue losing the baby weight. So that is what we're starting off doing. <laughs> and then my mom is actually going to be here any minute now and we are going to be planting some plants. So as soon as I'm done with this and she arrives, I will take you outside and you'll watch the time lapse of my backyard getting a little bit prettier. Good morning. Good morning. So <laughs> so Aubrey uh, is over here and she's noticing our plants and I figured since I showed you guys in my last video I'll show you the update of the lettuce and then also my green onion. So this um, bit of romaine lettuce has kind of like come to a halt in growing but I did another one and it <laughs> is like so much bigger in comparison and I did it after I cut this like lettuce afterwards so um, it is getting some like roots on the bottom so I could plant this although I've heard that I could just leave it in here and I just kind of replace the water like every other day or every day so that it just you know gets a lot of water for these leaves and I'll probably enjoy a salad sometime soon. And then I've grown these from seeds from my mom's um, green onion plant. And so it's kind of nice to like, you know, if I'm making a teriyaki bowl, like trim off one of these and cut it up for my food. And I have some more outside. So I've got my little garden over here. And you can see our plants in the backyard, kind of, uh, the progress we've made. I'll go outside and show you guys what I did yesterday to prep for my mom's coming here. But I figures that right when I was gonna go outside to show you guys, my mom arrived. So we we're gonna show you anyways, but here's Bubby, ready for the day. Almost ready for a nap, actually. And uh, my mom's here at the flowers, so let's go outside and help her get it all done, or at least keep her company while I hold bubs. All right, so we got some gardenias that are gonna go in the back. This is a garlic plant thing or whatever, and another gardenia. And then we got another plant going in our front yard. My mom's running away. Hey, mom. Oh, good morning. Hello. <laughs> what kind of plant is this again? This one's called the Boxwood Beauty. And it has it little will. white flowers. It will, I don't know when but this is gonna go right out front and we got our little skeleton we put this up it'll be a part of another video but we got this in texas and brought it with us so if you've been following my pumpkin updates um all of them pretty much always continue to die but we have one that has surpassed any other one in growth and i think this one's gonna make it so i'm super excited like this is Bigger than the size of my fist, and my hands are man hands. I carry this banana. Good job. Yeah, good job carrying that. I Thank you. That pain. You forgot it. Oh, okay. Yeah. We gotta cover that up, I guess. Yes, the water got leak out. But we got a lot of like other little baby pumpkins back here. But I just don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna survive because you know, as you can see, they kind of fall off and die. What do you and want to this say? This is how they roll. Come here. Okay. This is how they roll, Mom. They have that, and then they will do that. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's get this last plant back, and, and we we'll start planting. So we are finally in the backyard. I feel like it's like total mom thing. You, you know, you, you start off with a goal in mind and then you get caught up doing tons of things. So we're in the backyard now. Chubbs is back there. My mom is tending to our bougainvillea because I'm worried it's gonna die, but it's, it's hanging in there. Let me show you finally what I did yesterday to prepare for today. So yesterday I cleaned up this dirt, dug this hole to um, fit our little gardenia. And then there's gonna be another plant here for sure. And then we got another hole dug for that gardenia. Two more of those garlic plants. And then I put a lot of dirt out here, went through it, broke down the big dirt rocks, separated the rocks. Um, I actually like put 
the actual rocks like around the plants. I still have all of this to do, which is gonna be a horrendous afternoon. <laughs> but I did dig these two holes yesterday for this plant to be split up into two. So this is what we're getting done today, along with one plant out front, like I said, um, and hopefully it will go fairly quickly because I have even more stuff to get done inside. All right, so now that I'm done sweeping, we're gonna go and check out how much my mom has done in the front. She went to do the last plant over there. I am really happy with how it turned out. And the gardenia plants that are, let's see, right here and right there. <laughs> um, those ones are actually gonna be a lot wider as they grow. So that's why there's a little bit more space between those and I think the garlic plants. And then in the center, I wasn't sure if I wanted like, another gardenia or if I wanted another garlic plant or just something different or just leave it as a space and put some rocks there. So that will, you know, be determined in the future. And then here, you guys can't see the plants that we planted right today, but we have a lot of space. I do have to clear it out. And one of my like dreams that I've seen someone do like on Pinterest or something was to have like a board, like a chalkboard that stands up so that the kids can color on it. And then when it rains, it washes off or you hose it down and then they can color on it again. And I think that in this area, it would look weird just to have like a big chalkboard sticking up. So an idea that's crossed my mind is to put like a big chalkboard against this wall in the center and then other plants will be on either side and then you know when the kids grow up and they're done using that as like a chalkboard and artsy place we can remove it and then just plant more flowers so that is kind of the direction that i'm going with on this wall for now um, i think it would be also fun to decorate for birthday parties or like take a group photo and we can write a message if we have a bigger you know group in the future and we can't fit inside by my glass board so that is, you know, something I'm looking at in the future. So we're done up here. Let's go and check on my mom. This mommy, I want to Oh no, we got a troublesome area. Look, mommy, look. And I'll tell you why. Because of how it's watering. Mommy, well, mommy, come. Look at that. She loves the little maggot. Okay, Interesting. Okay, anyway, we got, the issue is, I don't know, like here's the pipe. Oh, I found it. We're right here. Mm -hmm. Look at this cute little guy. I don't know how mommy, bendable look. it is. It's pretty mommy, solid. Look, mommy, look what okay. I got. Yeah, mommy's okay, looking now at it's that. Nanny's now turn. it's Nanny's turn. Let me tell you, Mommy, about this ring, okay? Anyway, it's anchored down, which I guess I could move, but I don't, I don't know how flexible, you know. Mm -hmm. I was picturing planting, you know, the root here. Well. 
so this is obviously in the way. Then you got the house foundation concrete right here. So what I'm gonna have to do is plant the plant it where the um the stem, the root, you know, the mm -hmm, whatever you call it, right here. And I'm digging under here so that the roots can kind of go under there. But, you know, there's things I can't. No, I mean, this plant's going to grow, so we can just trim it. And... Mommy, yeah. I saw Oh, you made a little house. Yeah. Yeah, that because he's mine, my pet. <laughs> he loves him. Hi, this is my new pet. What's his name? His name is Rory. Was what? His name is Rolly. Rolly? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or oh, he's a little boy. I can little the boy since that mama boy. Oh, the Rolly pulleys, that's the mommy? Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's the way it works, but you can pretend. Hi, I see my pet. I wonder where you're going to keep the new pet. Yeah, where are you going to keep the new pet, Aubrey? Ouchie, because it's just homey, homey, homey. Yeah, look at this. Now this is going to be a yucky party. That's his bathroom? Yeah. And well, tell, tell me more about the little house that you made him, Aubrey. I made him poop house. And this is my home. And you already sang happy birthday to him today? Well, I will check back in when this is all done. Ta-da! All right, it's there. It's center within the wall as best as we could, but like, does it look weird because it's not center in the dirt? I hate things like this because it's like you can never win. You either get it center on the wall or you get it center in the dirt. There is dirt on the other side, so I feel like centered on the wall makes more sense. What do you guys think? Either way, I think it looks nice and cute under my little hanging glow-in-the-dark skeleton. But now that that is done, we are going to go back inside and clean up a bit, and then I will hopefully get to crafting these cute little mugs for my father-in-law's 60th birthday, so I will check back in when I get started on that. Okay guys, I am sitting like on the floor in my closet, about to use my Cricut, which you guys are currently propped up on. Uh, so my Cricut, I need, unfortunately, there's a part that has gotten kind of loose and I need to replace it soon. And if that wasn't the case, I could program this to like do all my cutting and go spend time with my mom and the kids. She's taking care of them right now. But because that part is loose, I have to like watch this like, like a hawk, making sure that it doesn't come undone and then mess up everything else. So I'm thankful that my mom is here because I can do that without worrying about having to only do it during Jack's nap and all this other stuff. So that is what I'm going to work on now. I'm going to cut out the little stencils for these mugs that I'm making for my father-in-law's birthday party. And then we will be using Armor Etch, which is like a glass etching cream to etch it into the mugs so that it has this like foggy look for the design. So. Uh, I did a little test run yesterday and he has like a truck so we're putting a little truck stencil on as well as like his name and 60th birthday and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get those cut out and get these mugs etched. Okay so far so good. Uh, it's these little like grayish rubber things that are loose and keep like messing up my projects so I really do need to get them changed out. Don't really know how I'm going to do that. And I'm just using some Dollar Tree like transfer tape and we're going to see if this stencil works out okay. I used a different type of vinyl last night and I'm just hoping to you know not waste any of my more expensive stuff on something that's going to be just used and thrown out. Okay so thankfully I realized like before it got too far that that type of material was just not going to be like sticky enough so I'm changing to Dollar Tree contact paper and we're gonna you know do this again luckily my machine is not totally acting up 
so I think I won't have any issues with making the cuts, but hopefully the, you know, the rest of the process will go smoothly. All right, my mom just left. The Cricut just finished like cutting half of the little labels that I need. So I'm gonna cut the rest when Bubs goes down for a nap, which will be in like 45 minutes. And then hopefully we will get to finishing these little mugs today. And if not, we'll do them tonight when daddy gets home. So we're just gonna go play outside. Aubrey has that little bug and she like, I think killed it with, <laughs> with putting like too much water on it. And she was afraid since it wasn't moving that it needs more water, otherwise it'll die. So she's outside with her pet. <laughs> but uh, let's go on and go outside and play for a little bit. You gotta get your tangle monsters out later, okay? My waffle is so cute. I need some water, my boy. But if you can go in the back, I need my friend back. Okay, so Bubba is now asleep, and I finished cutting out all of the little stencils for the mugs. And then while I still have my Cricut on, I'm going to cut out on like a white glitter iron-on vinyl the word momster written in like Halloween font. And when you do this, you have to like mirror it and put the shiny side down. So it's like a little bit different from cutting out actual like sticker vinyl. But I'm going to be doing that because I hope to, by the end of today, uh, like bleach a black shirt and try a new technique that I've never seen anyone do and make this like momster shirt. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. But if not, it's it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that out and then I'll deal with the shirt later. If I don't get to it today, that's not a big deal, but I do need to finish the mugs. So that is what we're gonna do as soon as this is done. Well, just getting the stickers on like a couple mugs took forever because they're such tiny pieces and I am using cheaper material just to kind of save money. So I'm paying for it with my time, but that's okay. I'm gonna get it all done. It will happen. But uh, Juan got home a little earlier than usual and I was like, can we please just go out to eat? I don't have the energy to also make dinner. So that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. You can just assume the rest of my night is eating letting Juan hopefully take care of most of parenting duties and me working on these mugs. So I will show you guys the end results um, it right now as an overlay little video thing. Um, I'm, you know, I'm happy with how my test one came out. I'm sure the other ones will come out fine. I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.